Hello my little teacups. Long time no see, hope everyone's doing okay. We have got a lot to get through today. It might be a really long episode, I just don't know, but let's get to it. First job, we're heading to the Museum Wall Gardens. Oh, hi Azalea. What's the latest? Yes, it is a lovely breeze, I quite agree. She's so cute. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, so we need to get to the walled gardens at the museum. I've got a spot of gardening to do. Hi, Carmen. Getting your face out there, building your brand, being famous, wow. Well, you're famous to me, I guess. And that's, that's something, isn't it? Mm. Okay, anyway. Oh, can't fit, can't fit. So up here, you see these lovely little bushes? Well, they're not so lovely anymore because all the flowers have gone. Must be out of season. So I spoke to Leaf and got some freshies. So out with the old and in with the new. And as I am the caretaker of this island, I should probably be doing this seasonally. So all the residents are happy and enjoying the floral arrangements. I should have left the hole there and just popped it straight in, really. So yeah, we'll leave the holes out now. And the last one. Should I go red, yellow, red, yellow? Or yellow, red, yellow, red? Yellow. Red. Oh no. Oh no. Have to be in the correct order. That's better. So while I'm just planting these up, I thought I'd mention what we've got planned today. We're going to get that shed. I don't know if you remember the last episode because it was quite a while ago. Um, I just want a shed. Other people seem to have them when they're in charge of an island. And it'd be very, very convenient. So we're getting a shed from Tom, no matter what. Here we are, isn't that pretty? Yay, so much better. Yes, I definitely have to do this every season. Sydney? Uh, Sydney? Why are you sweeping? That's definitely my job. You're an old person. Things are great, thank you. I'm worried about you. You wonder what your parents are up to? Oh, this is awkward. I wonder how old Sydney thinks he is for his parents to be able to answer the phone. Awkward. Anyway, here we are. Let's chat to Tom. Give us a shed, Tom. It's all we want. Mm, is it about my home? Am I paying off the storage? Or something? That's it. So I've had to save up to pay this all off in one go because he doesn't take instalments. Yep, yeah, look, I've got it. I'm good for it. Honest. Yes, I'm ready. Reluctant, but ready. Right, so it'll be ready tomorrow morning. So I wonder if that's when I can get the shed. I just wish he'd tell me. He's being so secretive about all this for no reason. So in my worker's manual, it said that I'll be able to buy a recipe for a shed when the time is right. I'm not seeing anything. No, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, what do you think? Is it going to be tomorrow? Yeah, we're at the bottom now. We'll just check through the specials and things. I mean, there's nothing there. Let's face it, there's nothing there. It'd be there in the recipes, wouldn't it? Okay, so I am guess it's tomorrow. It better be tomorrow. Well, we're going to have a cross little teapot. Oh, we'll just grab this little bug. There's lots of new seasonal bugs around at the moment. 
an earth boring dung beetle it's not boring at all no it's not it's really not boring one bit oh thanks net right so i'll go and buy net and we'll reconvene tomorrow see you in a bit and it's tomorrow welcome back we have got a lot to do again today to be honest let's start with the shed i guess Hi Tom. Yes, I've got more storage and to be honest I wasn't bothered about the storage. It was never about the storage. It's about the shed Tom. Please be there, please be there. Okay. Shed, shed, shed. <gasps> Wooden storage shed. That's what I need. Wow, it's going to cost me 6000 just for the recipe. <gasps> I mean, I have to do it. It's what I've been waiting for. But that's just seeming... It seems a lot. It seems a lot. To pay out 6,000 miles before we've actually got the materials or anything. Anyway... Let's check out the recipe and see what we need, hey? Oh, I have to click on the recipe first. Silly little teapot. Okay. What are we going to need? Probably a lot. It is a lot. But luckily I've already got most of it. Just need to collect a bit of hardwood. Can do. Can definitely do that. Not with a shovel. But yes, with an axe. So luckily, when you're chopping... Oh, I was going to say that hardwood is usually the most common wood to get, isn't it? Oh, I've got one. Two hours later... Well, that took a long time. I think we've got enough now, though. Let's double check. It's craftable. We're doing it. Oh my gosh, guys. We're getting the shed. I feel like this has been my goal for about a month. We've got a shed. Now, how does one even use the shed? <laughs> I'm not sure. No, we're done. We don't need to do any more crafting. That's got to be it for a while. So I believe you can just plonk your shed down anywhere and have instant access to your storage. What's this bug? I don't recognise you. A cicada shell. Am I pronouncing that right or am I embarrassing myself? Cicada, I think. Did I get points for finding a bug? Cicada memories. I did. Let's get Nook Miles for just collecting one bug. Okay. Summer memories that'll last a lifetime. It will. It definitely will. Great. Okay. Let's crack on. So this is the area that's going to be completely changed and tidied up. It's an absolute disgrace. But let's plonk our shed down. And then we can try and use it. Alright, what should I do? Put something away. Get something out. Put something away or get something out. It's as easy as that. Okay, I can handle that, surely. So we'll start the big tidy. The big beach clean up, we'll call it. So I can literally just select and put things away. Probably should donate that bug. So the more inventory space I've got for a clean up the better because then I don't have to pop back to the shed quite as often. Great and we'll just move some of these along because I do like to like a bit of organization. Yeah I'll probably keep that sign ready. Okay right so we'll start with all the items. 
just get rid of them all and then we're going to have a massive task of clearing all the sand that's going to take a lot of sweeping oh hi apple i know this is your house i'll be moving it soon Don't you love being outside when the weather's like this? Yes. Oh, I would actually love a picnic apple. Thank you. But I'm just a tad busy at the minute. You know, building the park and that kind of stuff. Okay, so I'm going to need some energy for moving these trees. Little old teapot can't do it without the energy. Nam, nam, nam. Eat them all, eat them all. Yay, this way we get to save the tree. Some more food. So I'll eat that and then you see the trees just by me? They're going to have to go because the park department is going to be bigger than the area where the beach was. So yep, shifting everything. Probably have to smash these rocks too. So I think that's about it for the items, but my oh my, look how much sand there is. Oh, and Flick is on the sand, and Apple is doing her exercises on the sand. Got the whole island, Apple, really. Let's start the construction, get to wear my hard hat, feel very official. put grass down for now this is gonna take a while one eternity later okay we've done a big section and it pretty much took me all day but hey we're getting there that's all that matters oh look there's a present in the sky yeah, I could do with a two minute break. Oh. You know what? I'm never very good at this. I feel like it's a really basic thing to be able to do well. Oh, good. I often let them land somewhere and they disappear. Hey, nice. It's one of the most decent ones I've had. I'll probably spend that on something nice for the parks department. Right, let me see. Oh yeah, not too much more to go, is there? Just this awkward corner. So for what I've got planned, I'm probably gonna have to move these houses a little bit too. Hope the residents don't mind. We finished it, yay. Oh gosh, that was actually, yeah, it took forever. But it's done now. I'll probably never do that with sand ever again. I have done enough for one day. I think I'll go for a cup of tea and carry on another time. Hi again everyone. It's a couple of days later and boy oh boy have I been busy. Come with me and see. I've been working on fencing. I've started a little path. Yeah, I'm doing good. So here we are at the plaza, and then if we just go this way, look, here's the main entrance. Ooh. So we've got a fountain. I've moved Apple's house a little bit forward. They didn't seem to mind too much. Is that fence awkward there? That's yeah, that's better. That's better. Okay, carry on. I don't know if I'll be keeping the fountain here. Um, we're having a bridge over to Drake's house and he's going to be living by a pond, lake, river, something, something. Might actually put the fountain in the middle. Yeah, sounds fancy. Hey, I've just realised is Drake actually stuck there? I think he is till we build the bridge. Is he just stuck? Oh my gosh. Okay, main priority, get the bridge built. Free Drake. Got to free the Drake. I don't quite have enough at the moment, but by the end of the day, I'm going to make sure that that's done. So he's free for tomorrow. Poor old guy. He agreed to work here for me at the park and I've trapped him. 
So, yeah, bad form. Sorry, Drake. Let's try this in the middle, see if I can build something around it. What do we think? What do you think? Gonna have to make the corners all the same. It's a, bit, it's a tricky decision, isn't it? Let's place it again. Okay. Okay, so... Do I want to just fully circle around it? Do I want more shape? Do we even need a park entrance at the top? We don't need an entrance at every on every side, surely. That way we could have more water. Mm, so much to think about. And I'm not the best at building the water. It's a bit unpredictable for me. Mm, I'll focus on the path for a little while. So what I'm doing, we're having a dirt path because, you know, most parks are just dirt paths where I live. And I'm going to get some sort of pebble to add into the path to give it a bit of texture. So I'm just going to have the dirt path trailing off towards the edge. I mean, the path can't go on forever. And then let's try and do this without having to speak to him. How close can I get? Ah, pretty close, perfect. We will speak to him, but not right now. And I think I took out some street lights. Oh, street lamps, yeah, I got them out the shed, didn't I? One for each side. Gotta stay symmetrical. Lovely. Right, so let's figure out how to pay for all this stuff, this bridge we need. If we sell all the veg, we might just do it, you know. Right, come on then, Lloyd. Let's get this done and free. Poor Drake over there. Look at him just sad in the dark. Pay the lot. Yes, you may have that much. Okay, so that means in the morning, Drake is free. Free from the prison of his own home. And it's the next day again. I don't think I've got any to sell, what a shame. If I've got any free time, I must catch some fish for him. Okay, so it's the next day and hopefully that bridge is done. Oh! Oh, hi there. Sydney, I did not think koalas liked the rain. But here we are. Scrapbooking, that is such a cute hobby for you to have, Sydney. Good luck with that. Right, let's carry on with our day. Uh, we'll head down and see... Well, there might be people to talk to on the way, but we'll head down to the park. Jammy! How are you, Jammy? I'm glad she's well, but let's crack on. Dom, it's been ages since we spoke, Dom. You're on patrol. Well, I'm glad you're keeping the area safe. Right, let's get to the park and I'll show you what a busy little teapot I have been. Oh, Azalea, we'll speak to you first. She's so cute. I love her little flower umbrella. I wonder if that's an Azalea. I don't know. So here we are. Haven't I been busy? Look at the cute little corners. We've got the children's area. The bridge. It, the bridge is done. We've even put some puddles down for Drake. Got to keep Drake happy after all that, haven't we? Yep, very nice. We've got benches. Cute, cute. We've even got a little picnic blanket going on. Yes, this kids' area, I do love it. 
Tom Nook says we can build the parks department as long as we keep the grandkids happy when they come to visit. So I thought, what's better than, you know, sand pits, climbing frames, and here's Apple's house. We've given Apple a little gnome. I just thought Apple's going to appreciate that. So we've still got a few bits to put out. I need to do the pebble pathing. What do you think so far? I'm pretty pleased. I've also got some flower beds to make. I was going to put some more flowers around the kids area. Oh yeah, the moss. I thought the glowing moss would just be a nice finishing touch. Large mushroom, tape player, that's for the picnic area. Oh, and some balloons. The kids love balloons. Health and safety first, everyone. Got to get your hard hat on when you're doing this kind of work. No accidents in the workplace, thank you. Ta-da! Okay, so let's place the flower bed soil. There. Oh no, too much, too much. And then shall I do some up the side? There's enough space. You may as well. I could just do a straight longer one there. Let's plant. So I don't like two of the same colour touching each other. Don't know if you've noticed that. I'm a little bit of a fuss pot teapot. That's right, that's right. Go pink, maybe? Or red. Okay. I do love these hyacinths. I thought I'd pop a lily of the valley down just as a showing off point. But yes, I do have a five star island. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> right, so up in this corner. I'm not 100% sure if I should fill in some gaps. I mean, we've got the wagon. You can imagine parents bringing the whole picnic and all the kids and everything. Just put them all in a wagon. But it's probably not the right spot. It's more of a down here spot, isn't it? Oh yes, that's better. What was I going to pop here again? What do you mean there's no room? Plenty of room, got the whole rug. Lovely. I'm not really sure on, on which song is going to be most suitable. Or if we just go with the classic. Everyone loves the classic. Some more finishing touches. I'm really going to town on this kids area. They better appreciate it when they visit. I think I've got just one more balloon. Yes, a red one. And I've placed a large mushroom there. Just adds, adds a bit of something, a bit of colour. And these kinds of just fit where they fit. They always look pretty nice. I don't think they look like weirds, do you? I just thought. No, they glow. Right, I think this will be our last little... Um, flower bed for the for the park too far again teapot I'm pretty sure that's too far can't tell yeah I don't like it joining the path
Right, so we're doing the finishing touches to the dirt path now. And I'm just popping some pebbles around. I've got two different pebble designs. So I thought I'd do a little bit of mix and match. This is the other one. Give Drake a bit of a path. Hope he's gone out for the day. A lot of disturbance for him, all this. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. I hope I'm not speaking too soon. But I think, am I done? Let's do the grand tour. Shame about the rain. But hey ho, let's do it anyway. I've got my brolly. So here we are in the relaxing watch the fountain spot. You can just imagine all the oldies sitting here with a little cup of tea. And then down the path we have the kids area on one side, fountain on the other. And then as we move down we have Drake's house on one side, picnic on the other. Lovely little picnic area, little bench for a resting spot. Very nice. I've just noticed that some of the shrubs have got no flowers. I will have to change that. So here some of the mums can sit and chat with the nans and the granddads while they watch the kids on the park. Isn't it lovely? Oh, in Apple's house, of course. I think we will eventually get someone different to look after the park. Apple, not interested one bit. Not one bit bothered. Let's pop some on the other side too. And while we're out, sorry to keep you all out in the rain, but I'm just gonna show you the lavender garden um, and how it's going or how it's not going really if we just squeeze through here now well, you can see it's just not going very well I can't lie to you guys um i might just expand all the way up here with the park eventually and just get rid of this garden it's it's not working for me we're not growing lavender shambles absolute shambles okay we have to try these things in life right if you don't try You'll never get anything. So anyway, park done for now, and I am pretty pleased with it. Well, hasn't that been a long episode? Thanks if you made it to the end. If anyone's got any tips or suggestions about that lavender garden, please let me know how I can grow it better. I do water them, honest. So don't forget to like, subscribe and join me next time here on Shady Pines. Teapot signing out!